Okay, so good, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Kogure, uh, well, and this is the uh, second online meetup between CSD and the Fab Lab, Fab Labs around Japan. Uh, by the way, for Japanese listeners, CSD stands for the Courage of Science and Technology, Bhutan. And we are doing a project, uh, yeah, with uh, we, uh, JICA is doing the project with CSD about uh, the uh, Fab Labs, uh, setting up a Fab Lab. And well, uh, the today's, uh, we invite two Fab Labs from Japan. And uh, I will hand my mic to Takimura-san uh, for the introduction and uh, uh, for the today's topic about the Fab Lab in Japan. Takimura-san, please. Thank you, Kogure-san. Good afternoon and good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining this online event today. Uh, today, I invited two guests from Japan. The first guest is Ms. Yuka Watanabe, a uh, director of FabLab Kamakura. The second guest is Mr. Naoki Hamanaka, a director of FabLab Shinagawa. Both of the guests will talk about activities in their FabLab. FabLab Kamakura is a Japanese leader in STEM STEM education using digital fabrication. Uh, it is also holding some project that related to SDGs and Fab City. Fab City is a worldwide pro project. Bhutan also declared to become a Fab City. So let's discuss about Fab City in the discussion time. Then uh, Fab Lab Shinagawa is an uh, activity Active Fab Lab, which has projects helping disabled people. They are sharing a bunch of useful 3D models which support daily lives of disabled people. I believe their experience will give you the idea that will improve Fab Lab in Bhutan. After a 30 minute talk from both of guests, I prepared 20 minutes discussion time. So if you have any questions, Type, in, type it in Zoom chat box. Then let's start from Ms. Yuka Watanabe, Fab Lab Kamakura. Yuka-san, could you start? Yuka-san, can you hear me? Sorry, I'm on mute. <laughs> Please <Okay. laughs> start. <laughs> yeah, okay, thank you for inviting me. And my name is Yuka Watanabe and I'm a director of Fab Lab Kamakura. So uh, let me share my uh, presentation uh, seat. So, uh, okay. Could you see my presentation? Okay. Yes, I can see. Okay, so I have a 30 minute, right? Yes. <laughs> but I have 40 papers. So I will try <laughs> to finish my presentation in my time, okay. And let me introduce myself. Uh, uh, I, I was born in Japan and I just like started Fab Lab 2011. But uh, before that, I'm graduated from uh, art university and then and work to the environment design, that kind of stuff. So that's my background. Then, um, but uh, I was kind of like, uh, looking for something like a new field. So I found the uh, Fab Lab uh, Japan Network. So I found like it'd be nice uh, to be, uh, to do something new. Like uh, I was excited I made the Fab Lab activity. So um, I'm very happy to be here and then share my activity. Then uh, 2018, the former prime minister of Bhutan came to Fabra Kamakura, then we talked to the, um, he was a staying like, a, he was a super busy person. So he stayed like a 20, like a 30 minutes, but uh, we talked like we can do something, um, like education project, like in the future, like, a, so I was, uh, I, I was uh, like a remember. So I'm very, very happy to meet him. And um, it was a precious um, time to me. So I'm glad to be here, <laughs> thank you. Okay. So I would like to talk about like three topics about the Fab Lab Kamakura and also our project and also and our new like future vision. And I will start. 
so many people ask us like, why did we set up the Fab Lab in Kamakura? Maybe Kamakura is not a familiar name in, uh, to you. So here is a Kamakura. It's like 40 minutes from Tokyo. But, uh, but I was looking for the place. It's not the inside a big city. I, I'm very interested in like connected digital fabrication and also cultural context. So Kamakura has so many temple and also like a historical, like used to be a uh, Japanese uh, capital long, long uh, like a time, long time ago. So it was very, and also it's a compact city. The population is like uh, 170,000 people, but tourist population is quite high, but it's very um, compact. So if we set up the Tokyo, it's so many people. So we have to do something new. It, it'd be a little bit uh, too many people, I think, I thought. So, and also it's Kamakura is a very peaceful place. It's nice to live. We have a nature and also we, we live in across to the ocean. And also like uh, we have a uh, fresh vegetable and also like uh, we can have a place to pray and it's really nice. So maybe some like uh, someday like uh, uh, people from Bhutan I came to visit here. It'd be nice to stay in um, Kamakura. I'm very happy to uh, show in the place to you. And before that, um, setting up FabRab, I was kind of researching another FabRab, like, like this session. But FabRab is not a franchise. Like uh, in India, they are doing a very unique uh, activity. It's like connected the technology and also agriculture. And also Amsterdam set up the FabRab inside a castle. And also in Spain, they're using like a monk mon monastery. So it's very unique. And also it's like, doesn't matter. Like a, it's very um, based idea is connected the daily life. So in India, making like a solar cooker and also like in the Netherlands, making a boat and also like a green fabric in Spain, making a moss generator. So I was, uh, quite excited because it's not talking about just like a um, 3D printer and also like a, a programming stuff. It's more than that. And one more important thing is like, I was very impressed like one uh, fab lab in Boston. It's called like a South End Technology Center. It's like a center of like a technology uh, teach, giving the opportunity to the kids who can have a um, learn well. So the, uh, Mr. King was like a key person to connect with the Fabra and also local community. He was a good friend of Neil. And so Fabra uh, Boston and also Fabra in um, India was like a first Fabra in first generation of Fabra. So I was quite impressed to those of the FabRab. So maybe FabRab Kamakura can learn from, from them. That's like a basic idea, like when I started FabRab. So uh, when I, uh, I set up the FabRab at the uh, Professor Tanaka at the Keio University, and we took uh, three important uh, role. One is like a community lab, and also second one is research lab and also incubation lab. But we have a um, basic small compact machine and also the place is not that big, but the building uh, where I, what, I, I am is uh, quite unique because this building is used to be a sake warehouse. So, um, this building uh, built in 8088, so almost like 130 years old. And the owner moved to this building from the uh, Akita prefecture, it's like a northern part of Japan. So 
this building using so many uh, wood joinery system is like a traditional wood um, architectural technique. So this idea and also like new te technology and um, Japanese culture can mix together and we can do something. We can learn a lot of stuff and we can do something unique. That's like our basic start um, point. Then I, like I was like researching at the Keio University and also uh, studying uh, activity of Fab Lab, as a Fab Lab director. Then my idea of like learning community is like um, very um, ecosystem. So we have a basic program and also intermediate program. And also we are like a, a hosted Fab Academy since uh, 2015. So even if we are in a local fab lab and we can learn like a daily stuff and also connect it to academic area. So maybe uh, I heard like uh, um, in a Bhutan project having a fab academy um, student in next year. Fab academy has like a new way of learning system and also we can learn a lot of stuff and also we can connect each other more stronger than um, other way. We uh, in Faber of Kamakura started Faber Academy in 2015. And right now, so far, eight, 18, 18 graduate students in Faber of Kamakura. And after the Faber Academy, we, we can start a new project or another instructor can be a new in uh, another that person who graduates fab academy become an instructor of fab academy so it's kind of like an ecosystem that we can keep the new technology um skill and also we can meet the people so fab Lab has like a learning system it's really important to, to keep a technique or new technology stuff. And also uh, three key of uh, like mindset in Fab Lab and Fab Academy is like enjoying unknown things. This is the power of the research and try and error. And also time management. That's mean like planning and execution. So, and next one is ex expanding your territory. So go, <laughs> get out of the, your comfort zone, like get new things. So that means that like, Fab Lab is kind of like a, the person who graduated Fab Academy. So it can be a community is like uh, enjoy and unknown. And so a community with the ability to plan to execute and also a community that show the new possibility. These like a Fab Lab, uh, so it's not about the job, uh, like machine and also um, technology, fancy stuff. It's like a people, it's like Fab Lab. So like once a year we get together, then hopefully we can go to uh, Bhutan and meet each other, then having a fun and also like exchange our opinion or what we want to do and we can talk about the future. That's the Fab Lab. And also I'm very, very excited to go to attend the Fab um, Fab Lab conference. So we hosted the Fab conference at like uh, Fab Nine. It was like a, my big event in my life. So I, I'm very excited to be in a Bhutan in Timpu. Then this is like a, a Fab like steps. Like we, we are using like a basic idea of Fab Lab. So the like first one, it's very passion is very important. And also the creativity and testing and tinkering. It doesn't matter how old, it's very like a 3D printing, new technology or new things like meet new people. It's like a kind of hello world to everybody. Then we have, a, we, we are community lab. So elder people, especially um, retired people, but who has a skill, so many like uh, elder people who has a skill I like, come to the Fab Lab and also teach each other and uh, teach the new generation. It's a very, very um, good ecosystem, but 
COVID-19, it's uh, the situation a little bit different, but before that, we have uh, uh, this kind of uh, activity every um, week. And second step is like, uh, passion can be a project and also creativity can be a communication and testing will be a trial. So it's more longer project. So um, we're doing like a K-12 projects, like a junior or high school student who doesn't have any like a digital fabrication skill, but they are very, very um, first learner. So if they have a um, idea and they have a, uh, they want to do something new and they can learn a lot of stuff in, the, in a short time. And also in a second stage, getting idea, new idea and sketching on a paper and dirty prototyping is very, very um, good for them. Then they can start tinkling and also they can choose what is the best way to become their idea, that kind of stuff. Then we have a mega fair um, exhibition and then what, uh, I'm, I'm gonna introduce my favorite um, project. Please. This is like, a, uh, he was in a junior high student and hopefully like uh, people can see what it is. Okay. Yeah, he's 3D modeling and also soldering stuff. And I can move it forward, move it forward. Someone, maybe like, uh, can you guess what it is? Okay, okay, and coding. This is not the Fab Academy. This is like a private project. Okay. And he's making apps. <laughs> this is my favorite project. <laughs> But the first, at the first, he talked to his mom and he knew how to uh, do like a 3D modeling, electronics and programming stuff, but uh, he doesn't have any idea at then. And he has a cat and her mom, his mom like uh, talked to him and maybe we can do some, we can feed her when we are outside. Uh, maybe he can make some, he, he can, he got ideas. So, okay, if I use that skill, that skill, that skill, we can make that machine. Then he made it. So that's, that's very good because he need, how mommy needed the machine and he, he had the skill, then he made that. So it's kind of, it's not work making for himself. He just like uh, uh, make the project made a project for her, uh, his mother. So this is a kind of second stage. And he is right now, he's, he's a university student and he's like making a mach another machine for disabled people who doesn't, who, who can use a mouse. So he can use the machine like using a, a, like a breeze, then he can use a mouse, that kind of stuff. So he's like making this stuff, like his own project. So third one, it's like my, uh, maybe I, we can do something. This is like a, uh, like a third step. Maybe we, we, we should do that. Like it's, I call it like a fab camp. And I was at the end like Fab Lab Asia Network in Philippine Bohol. And there is a field work. And we went to like a dump, um, garbage, like a dumped place. And I was quite shocked. Like we, if this is a real life, then we can learn something and we, we should do that something like working this one because this is like maybe like our like garbage, maybe like do, like there. So I was quite shocked and also we learned a lot of stuff at the Philippines. Then 
every year we have Asia Network Conference. So we can get together and we can think and we can learn each other and we can share the culture, that kind of stuff. So we can collaborate each other. So hopefully like we can go to the Bhutan or uh, like someone come to Japan and we can have a boot camp or like Asia Network. Maybe uh, there's conference in Boho, uh, Bhutan, but uh, maybe um, Asia Network Conference would be um, small one, it would be nice. And that kind of stuff is like a third step. So third step is like a new, like uh, meet the new people and collaboration and go to other place and working with like uh, other cultures, people, that's the important. And this is like kind of a private project. And also uh, Fabra Kamakura is working at a school and we are like making like a school curriculum for like STEM program. And it's like, uh, I worked with like Ministry of the Ministry of uh, Economy Trade the, uh, project. So um, we designed like a half year, like information technology, uh, technology um, class and making a curriculum with using a digital publication. But in Japan, the Japanese uh, um, educational program is uh, quite traditional right now. Uh, getting changed, but still very, very traditional. So we create a new um, classroom. Like uh, it's not like a 20th century, um, a classroom it's not like that like a student can work each other then like working in a classroom they they don't have to stay in the um, same place like if they want to work in a class they can talk to the other student so that kind of stuff at first then we set up the 3d printing and also laser cutter and idea sketch wall and photo booth and material booth the kind of stuff. So curriculum and also the space is very, very important to the student. And, and also um, using like, a, before like 3D printing, we are doing like a sketching stuff because just like a di uh, doing like a 3D modeling, it's not, it's good, but it's not that point because um, in the like art school, we are doing like a sketching stuff or always like a sketching, then making something by hand and using a digital machine. So it's like a kind of same way, like a designer um, thinking stuff. So I'm using that technique and also using like a Fab Academy technique method so they are doing like the same mess, same uh, way, or like a designers or Fab Academy way. Then like so many people ask me like, do you have evidence of like a digital fabrication tool? Like uh, it's good for student or it, it's just like a fun, that kind of stuff. Like that, that was like five years ago. So I was like researching, um, 185 students for like a half a year. And we got a like a result because this stuff like making something by hand is like very, very good for them, especially the person who doesn't have a self confidence well. So it's like making something like makes people more happy or get the confidence and also improve meta, metagonization, that kind of stuff. So it's very, very, um, I was surprised because um, it makes that like a per, that student doesn't have uh, enough motivation to learn, but she or he become a different person through the half a year. So he started coming to the school. She is like uh, talking to other friend and make it start like uh, making stuff. She always like uh, doing something different in the classroom. But the end of the um, semester, 
she was like a completely different person. So I was like, um, realized this is the like a new way of learning stuff. Even if like we did the book, STEM education is good, but like if we change like, uh, if we show uh, like see the, <laughs> the moment like a student can change that kind of um, student becoming become changing it's like a very very powerful experience so it's very nice to like be be with them and also like uh, um kamakura declared to fab city like the same year in bhutan and also like uh, in the philippines the same way uh, like a linear like linear society is like it's not that work anymore. So circular economy, we are doing like a try to um, something new way by like using um, this fabrication, but it's not that easy, like, because product in trash out to the ideal, it's like a data in data out idea. It's like a um, dream, but we, if we can, we work together like it coming become a, more true, and Fab City Network, um, it's very very a big vision. But we can do something like uh, what we can do. So we are doing like a precious plastic machine project because we cross the ocean and microplastic problems getting serious, and we can uh, like uh, making something like. Uh, a uh, plastic new ecosystem like in a local community and using like a um, 3D printing technology and using a uh, making like a daily um, like a product in a life but we still like we are working right now but it's very very challenging and but we should do this project, that's why like that's the motivation for the, this project. So um, I'm talking to like uh, so many different like education and also public academy and learning program, but it's like a, that mean like it, it is um, the new way, like uh, searching new, uh, creating a new society with the people and connected each other and collaboration with other people. It's like uh, all same, same, same to me. So. It's like, a, I'm not talking about the new technology of machine, that kind of stuff, like very, because like a machine is changing, technology is changing. If they could, but if we connect it um, more strong, having a strong connection, we can do something new in the future. That's the, our like philosophy of Fabra Kamakura. So <laughs> maybe we can do something in near future. It's very, like I'm excited to have it I'm very excited to have that kind of future. Um, maybe we discuss about more this stuff because my time is up. So um, thank you for like, I can't see anyone <laughs> face so I kind of weird. So maybe uh, I can stop my presentation. <laughs> is it okay? okay. Uh, thank you so much, <laughs> Yuka-san. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then the next guest is Hamanaka-san. Can you start? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, just a moment. I'd like to share my presentation. Ah, sorry. Okay, um, may I start now? Yes, please. Um, this is Naoki Hamanaka, um, the founder of Fab Labo Shinagawa in Tokyo, Japan. And um, this is my great honor to be here now with all of you. Um, good afternoon and good evening. Uh, let me start my presentation. Um, first. First of all, let me introduce myself. 
as I said, my name is Naoki Hamanaka, and actually I'm working as an architect and uh, architect and designer. And then the founder of Fab Labo Shinagawa. And also I'm the director of Association of ICT Rehabilitation Research Lab. This is a very uh, focused position of myself for today's presentation. Then I'd like to uh, introduce my um, pre pre launching the level from the two, 2011. 2011 is the year the Fab Labo Kamakura and Fab Labo Tsukuba had founded in first Fab Labs in Japan. And at that time, I'm really uh, thinking of the uh, some kind of the sharing the some kind of template data to the people with the internet website. And I have launched the website like this, hamade.cc, and I sharing the some kind of uh, daily daily tours or something. And also that the activity was the uh, showed in the book, Open Design. Uh, translated in Japan into 2013. That was the time the Fab 9 in Yokohama has held, and uh, I joined in Fab Lab Kanai as a staff in 2013, and I made, I started making the, some kind of these things. Very small. Then um, in 2014, I decided to launch my own label in Shinagawa, Tokyo, at the name uh, named Atfab in Shinagawa. This is a map of Tokyo, and um, I'm really anxious about the uh, who, who do know the uh, Tokyo map. But the, this is the central Tokyo. Uh, this is Tokyo Station, the Shinjuku, Shibuya. Here is Shinagawa. But our labo is existing here, really south, south, south. <laughs> how can I say? How, uh, this is really uh, some kind of local downtown of Tokyo. This is a uh, neighbor, neighbor of our lab. The place is one minute from the nearest uh, local local train station and uh, exists on the story street level. So many people are coming who don't know our lab is doing what what what, can, what kind of thing. At that time, the the equipment are like this. There's a cutting machines. 3D printer, some hand tools, or the, of course, the uh, electrical things. And the activities are uh, focused on steam, um, crafts, things on livelihood. Some of the people, uh, some of the neighbor people are coming to our lab. Uh, our lab is really small, but the, so many people are coming. For, to our place, and we are we have been um, we have been the on some kind of classes in the elementary school for uh, this is uh, some kind of the activities on Steam. This is uh, some kind of programming and the three D modeling, and also the building some kind of the uh, tiny robot using the digital publication skills like this. That, that kind of activities long lasts about uh, three and a half years. And after that, in 2018, I have relaunched our lab as Fab Labo Shinagawa and I have invi invited an occupational therapist as a director. 
then the our lab our fab lab with occupational therapy as i said director is an occupational therapist and fab is fab fab is the one of the important occupation in our life we believe and we are making the some kind of uh, assistive tools using 3d printers And our activities are calling on um, Fab OT. And this is the, the definition of the what is occupational therapy by the World Federation of Occupational Therapists, but uh, it's too long and uh, I shortcut this part. Um, Fab, and uh, our lab is. Uh, as a place of inclusion, there's no limit of the ages or the handicapped or not handicapped. And many people are coming from the outside of Tokyo to see our activities. And basically the fab lab is based upon the community of the place, but our activity is really spreading out of the, our, uh, our living, living, daily living area, not only in Japan, but also outside of Japan. Activities in global network before the COVID COVID-19 period, we have been communicating with the um, outside um, global, global network using the online meeting tools like this. Um, so many people working like, like our labo as a, prof, as a professional therapist. He's the occupational syllabist in France. They were from Japan and they are, they are uh, from Indonesia. And we, we did there some lectures to them and we, are sharing, uh, we have the sharing, data sharing platforms like this. I'm explaining later. From 2019, we have been um, set some, some five main activities like this. The first one is workshop and the second one is marathon. And third one is lead design cafe. And the fourth one is awareness building. And fifth one is activity support. Uh, I said that uh, in the, some kind of the I'm um, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, but the, there's no 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 uh, turn. It, it's the uh, same importance. They they had these has same importance. The workshop is like this. Um, workshop is help to get and improve people's skills. Many workshops with different kind of tamers, like the <clears throat> mostly making something. Too clouded in the very tiny space. So it is unbelievable in this period. And make a song is the, on the chance to demonstrate one's skills. When the, when the people has get the, some skills in workshop, they can demonstrate their skills in make a song. Make a song is a coined word with a make and bala song. As you know, the idea song or the hack song Make a song is the um, making challenge. 
to solve the problems with the people who has difficulty. We call the Makerson to, to solve the problems and but that it's it is very nice time to because difficulty boosts creativity, we believe. Like this, um, we we are welcoming the disabled people in the team. We call them need knowers, and uh, we are healing from their uh, healing their needs, and some doing some sketches and uh, prototyping like this the many designers engineers therapists the people who like to make something the gathering in the same place and making discussing and making prototyping something and after the makeson we improve the prototypes made in the makeson to products we call it lead design cafe. As you see, this is the tool made in the Makerson. It's a really dirty prototype, but we're uh, improving his tool in a day. And when he go back to, to his home in the day, the product is improved a little bit. Then this is the next next uh, chance to doing some uh, making something. And he um, surprisingly, he was a need knower, but he has become to making things by himself. It is really really fantastic, fabulous moment for us. This is a typical improving some, uh, I don't know improving, but the, some kind of the um, variations of the tools. This tool is to, um, how can I say, turn over the pancakes. The need knower has hemiplegia and he has to use the uh, on this kind of turner by one hand. So we just, we, uh, someone plan, uh, someone has, someone has uh, idea to put three tiny turner in a one tool and to turn around the, this big, big pancake called, called okonomiyaki in Japan. This is one of the tools. And also we are doing the public relations awareness building, um, some kind of publishing the two books in two years. These are um, make people to make things by themselves by using 3D printers. And this is the first one. And this one is released in this June. And this book is uh, some kind of catalog, tool catalogs for meaningful occupation. The people can download the data and uh, they uh, put in the data in the SD card and uh, selecting the files on 3D printer and put print. That, that, that's uh, things they have to do. These are the, these are the, uh, the some panels for exhibitions. These, all these things are tools for something. This is a, uh, this is the exhibition in Makeup Fair Tokyo. 
in last year. Unfortunately, this year's make of fair is um, hold, held in held online only. And we also doing the activity support for the um, beginners. These are the scenes from one day has no seminar. They are also the beginners and they can they can become modeling, not only modeling, but also ideation by themselves in one day. And also introduction support for reading printing for health and care fields. She is also occupational therapist and become um, modeling her idea in one day. And also support and empowering next makers. We call the, this kind of people next maker. Um, maker movement has been uh, around 2012 or something, but uh, um, many, many, many people are getting to becoming to make something. It's not called the movement, but I, I believe the so many people are becoming to making by themselves. As I showed, he the, he's a disabled person who has the, uh, who has the uh, cerebral palsy, but he is now the designer and the, he has, he's now using 3D printer and 3D printing. And also he is, uh, um, he's also cerebral palsy, but uh, he's using the eye, eye tracking sensor and doing modeling with eye tracking sensor. It's really amazing. And he's also the um, composer on the laptop computer. Some people have seen the last night on the uh, closing ceremony of the Paralympic. And the presentations from Paris has been focused on the um, ASL patient using the eye tracking tool, he's also doing like that. These are the models modeled by himself. The 3D printing has been, um, we, we, we 3D printed these items but the model by him. And uh, going forward for making the world a better place, we've been, um, as I said, we've been the, doing the Makerson. Let's see this movie. I'm uh, sorry, narration is only in Japanese, but you can feel the some kind of concept. Makerson wa make to marathon wo kake awaseta zougo de tankikan ni mono zukuri wo suru ibento desu.私たちのメーカーソンは障害を持つ人やその支援者を同じOkay, then 
we're uh, making the next makers platform on the uh, on the internet. As I uh, as I introduced before, the book is on uh, inside of the book is like this. The tool catalog and here's the QR code for the data. The begin beginners can start very easily, and of course, we are uh, sharing the data on the internet. Can you see this window? And these are the tools for something and categorizing. You can download the all files through um, pressing this button. And you can get the, the STL file. STL is a 3D modeling file. And the G-code, G-code is the files for 3D printing. So you can use this G-code directly for the 3D printing. We have been testing. And uh, it's very new. This is a very new one. This is the parametric design for assistive tools. Uh, you can choose the tools from here. It takes some time. Um, you can change the You can change the numbers, then redesign. You can get this kind of shape and you can download the STL file from here. Like these platforms, uh, we are making the platforms for next makers. And also we are doing the research and development. We have, we, have, we have been researching and developing the 3D printed supporter and also the sub, uh, filament for this supporter, filament for 3D printing. This project is with Unit, Unitica Limited, the chemical company in Japan. And also 3D bend, we are uh, developing, now be developing the 3D bending machine with Keio University. Uh, let me show you this project. This project is the 3D bending machine. Um, people who has some kind of difficulty to using 3D data or 3D printers, when the people can uh, can use the tab some kind of tablet, they can on uh, touching the models. Then the machine starts 3D printing. The data is uh, separately to each uh, hospital or daycare center or something like that, and they can. They can use, they can get the, their needed tool from the tablet. And also we are, um, as I said, the, our FabOT global network is splitting 
year by year. Is from Taiwan. And now Professor Tanaka is here. This is a uh, Make Up Air Tokyo in 2019. We have been uh, connected to many fab hotels around the world. And I have some topics on design. And this time, I'd like to think about who designs the things or tools or systems of society. As I said, I'm working as a designer. And of course, I'm working on uh, to design for my clients. But through my activities, I really feeling about the we have to think about design for plus design with someone. People are, uh, some people are saying like, like this kind of concept. In 2010, Tim O'Reilly had said, do it ourselves for open government. And I, I make some statement in 2012 made by ourselves. And in 2014, this Sanders has said by people here, you can find this kind, this uh, sketch. And uh, those are the matter of participatory of the people in the society and designers need to empower people in the world of co-design. I, I, I believe co-design is uh, some kind of keywords from um, these times. And for my last words, this words uh, showed in epigraph in Da Cosa Nasce Cosa by Bruno Munali, who is an Italian designer in 20th century. He has, um, he has been showed in his book, Epigraph. Um, Lao Zi from China has said, does not possess things that he made, does not rely on things that he achieved and does not stay in his success. Uh, let us keep doing. Thank you so much for hearing my presentation. Thank you, Hamanaka-san. And uh, let's move to the discussion time. And uh, I think you all have any questions for two guests. So please write down in Q&A box. And uh, I will pass my mic to Tomoaki Sensei, Watanabe san, Mr. Watanabe. Yes, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear okay. you. Yeah, could you start the discussion time? Okay, so um, I am another member of this JICA project and I'm, uh, I'm just moderating today's discussion section. And first, I saw uh, some question in the question box. Uh, it's from Tenjin Dorji. Uh, uh, excuse me if I pronounce your name wrong. Um, so uh, this is for Kamakura, uh, Fab Lab Kamakura's uh, Watanabe-san. Um, is it standalone FabLab or is it with other institute? Um, so is, is FabLab Kamakura like uh, um, organization by itself? And is it specialized in any field or is it like multi-purpose general FabLab? Uh, 
So those are the two questions to Yuka-san. Okay, uh, we are independent uh, organizations. So we are running Fabra by ourselves. So we don't have any support, any government, but we are, um, if we found a good proposal, we try to get the budget from the government. That's our way so far. And also we are collaborating with like Keio University and also um, Kamakura City government. So uh, it's not like a, a supporting running Fabra. Like we are doing like a project together that that this is our uh way and also what what was the second question <laughs> so is it specialized in any field uh, yeah. or is it general yeah uh it's like a specialized more education or like a training people so we are uh, collaborate with school or education organization so we're like we really um care about like how to change the people behavior or mindset so we're doing like that's why we're doing like a fab academy like a collaboration with fab foundation and we're using that method to that um to uh creating a new stem program with other uh education organizer with like a, in japan so today we are doing like a summer camp online summer camp in other like a girl high school student like online and so because we are not like a making product like a, we're doing like more focus on the people and also like a specialized uh, education program that's our specialty okay so another question for you Mm -hmm. uh this one i found in the chat box mm -hmm. is it possible to learn the type types of basic fab courses offered at fab lab kamakura mm -hmm. are these courses certified especially for children uh so in other words i think the 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 person asking do you offer courses and is there any certain uh, is there any certification for the courses? Not so far, like online, especially um, uh, children, because it's a how old or like we need to start discuss like why we need to do that kind of stuff. So, mm, so we don't have that kind of like basic, you mean like a, children mean like a more younger generation like we're doing like a high a junior and high school student so maybe it's um karma's karma san mean right. children mean elementary school children or more younger than that yes if if karma san uh, can respond please um uh, thank yes. you, Watanabe, sir. Hi. Um, thank you, Ma Hi, Madam Yuka. Uh, my question was, yes, uh, I, I was talking about uh, children who are admitted in um, uh, pre junior high school, middle school, and lower schools, like pre-primary mm -hmm. school children. So if whether if there were like official courses being offered for these children who are going to school mm -hmm. and whether those uh, courses would be certified for them so that in the future they can say they have been certified for such courses. Yeah, yeah. Um, right now we are doing like a junior and a high school student because elementary mm -hmm. school um, students, a little bit hard time, they're yes. focusing. So we need to do like a real, on, not online. We need to do uh -huh. that. So that means like uh, um, we had a, a collaborate with elementary school, but we need mm -hmm. to support the teachers and also other people. So um yeah of course we can um create the new like a uh, curriculum but we need to talk like uh, what what is the important stuff like we need to think about for them so we we can um is there like a um what like a concept more important more than curriculum that's my mm -hmm. uh opinion so like why you need to like a STEM program in Bhutan. So like why, what, what kind of stuff um, you want to make them like learn? What kind of opportunity like uh, it's need for them? Like uh, it's not about like a technology. They, if you need to, them to mindset, 
and thinking of uh, by themselves. And that, that concept, we can share that um, philosophy, then we can create the new um, course. So that's our way. So we always like uh, talk to the uh, educator at the school, then we are creating a new curriculum. That's the our way. So if you like the this way, it would be um, like a, it's very nice. Like, <laughs> am I answering your question? <laughs> uh, yes, Madam Yuka. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we can okay. do something like it. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, next question. Uh, again, I found in the chat box is uh, for Naoki-san. Uh, what are the softwares used for 3D modeling uh, by children? Um, for children, um, mostly, basically, um, they're using, uh, you know, Tinkercad from the the Autodex company from US. And sometimes, sometimes some uh, child, some children uses uh, Fusion 360 also from Autodex company, yeah. Hmm. Any, any reasons why you chose those pieces of software? Um, Tinkercad is uh, for free. People can use it for free and uh, provide it on the web browser. People do not have to download anything. Just make the account on the Auto Autodesk company's site. Yeah, and uh, it is very nice to nice for the beginners because the uh, Tinkercad is uh, some kind of digital digital Lego block. Um, the three D model is ready, and uh, putting some models together and uh, uh, grouping or uh, uh, unioning, joining or subtracting the the 3d models making the 3d models with the joining or subtracting using the uh using the red some kind of ready-made system so the i support the the elementary school student is very easy to um be, uh, for using it, always uh, usually they can use it in ten minutes or ten or fifteen minutes. Yeah, please try. Thank you. So yeah, um, as Koji Yamada san commented. Uh, Tinker, Tinkercad is good for the beginners, including children, in your opinion. Okay, thank you. And also, um, another question uh, is to Watanabe-san. Uh, from um, Techidology, mm -hmm. uh, could you share some of the challenges faced by Fab Lab and uh, Fab, Fab Lab Academy? Mm -hmm. So you do support Fab Academy students. Mm -hmm. um, so I think one of the questions is, is it easy? Do you face some problems, challenges? And mm -hmm. are there other challenges other than Fab Academy? Maybe first, like I'm talking about the Fab Academy. Like okay. uh, um, 
like 2015, we didn't prepare any preschool for taking FAB Academy. So people are taking like a basic course, then taking FAB Academy. So it's like a big gap. <laughs> then um, some people had a struggling because it's very, very tough for graduate FAB Academy. So maybe three years like uh, ago, we started preschool for Fab Academy student. Then, like what, what, at first, first of all, Fab Academy is not the school uh, instructor can teach everything. This is not like that. You need to have a skill for researching. You need to do like uh, help, help each other. And also you need to do um, um, like a time management. That kind of skill is very important for graduate Fab Academy. So um, after setting the preschool, it's more easier because there is no gap, like why you're, you didn't teach me that kind of stuff, like a student not say, didn't say that to the instructor because we already told them Fab Academy is not the service, like um teacher is not teacher it's like a um how can i say it's like in japan like sometimes student like depend on the uh student asking too many questions to the teacher without any researching this is not a good habit for them the fab academy is not like that it's more like a university um way in US, so they need the mindset. So that is a very um, big difference. Tell them like, uh, especially the, for the Fab Academy. And also Fab Bravo is not the place um, people teaching you everything. If you're asking to the um, uh, member to like without any research, Fabrab is lab. You're a researcher. You're not like a, um, you. Um, Fabrab is not the facility to get the service. Is this is not that like the place? They need to the mindset for same uh, way to the uh, Fab Academy. So this is very big big difference. Some like uh, um, not Fabrab, but like some place is like paying money, like a sports gym using a um, digital fabrication machine. And uh, sometimes um, people uh, behave uh, um, like a customer, like uh, complaining everything. Like uh, I can get enough service. I can, um, this machine is not good maintenance, that kind of stuff. This is not the Fabra. Like I told the people that who coming to the Fabra. That's, that's the, that's, that's the way <laughs> we do so. And also uh, we are not the public place. We are dependent. So no one can complain us because we are independent. If we are using tax or using like a public money, they gonna start it, like complain us. Like why using so much money for like you doing this kind of stuff. They, we are not, we are not like that, so. Okay, so in other words, to, to put it in other way, mm -hmm. uh, you, pre you provide preparation course mm -hmm. uh, for FAB Academy students so that they can learn some of the necessary skills and basic knowledge mm -hmm. before starting to take the real FAB Academy yes. itself. And, but you also emphasize that uh, students and other lab members, uh, they need the mindset of learning uh, mm -hmm. without being taught everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Thank you. So um, any other challenges you wanted to mention uh, in general that, that you face at Fab Lab? Maybe I, I'm not teacher, I'm telling them. 
I am not, I am a director, but I um, I don't know everything. So please help each other. Maybe you know more than I, I sometimes I told the people, maybe you know more than me. So can you tell me? <laughs> that kind of relationship is very important. So mm -hmm. I try to the, um, have a relationship very equal. I'm not the boss. I'm not, I'm not boss anybody. <laughs> so of course I have a responsibility for the people in, the, in my uh, in the fab lab because who has to get injured, injured. So I have an insurance, that kind of stuff. But uh, in activity, everyone is like a, um, equal. Okay. It doesn't matter how old you are, even if he's very young, she's very young, or he's old. If um, sometimes, sorry, um, in Japanese people, uh, elderly people, uh, sometimes people are talking a long time too much. So young people get bored. <laughs> so, um, and try to, um, try to order to young people. So this is not the place, like uh, this is not a young company. So this is a place for helping each other. Um, there is no any, like if you are old, but you don't know, he can teach you. So you need, um, this is a FabLab rule. Then also, ah, yes, one more thing. If you come to FabLab, please clean up more than uh, before you, So before you visit uh, <laughs> the FabLab, when you leave the FabLab, it should be cleaner. Yes. We can keep the place clean, very important. Oh. <laughs> Again, so it's it's another indication that they are not just customers or mm -hmm. they are not recipient of the services, but they do they do create the lab and maintain the lab together. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, another question um, to Hamanaka san. I, I, I understand Hamanaka san, you already answered some of the questions in the chat. But uh, one from Cheki Dorsey is, what are some of the challenges face while delivering activity support to participants? Um, if you haven't already answered. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I you? haven't already. Okay. I ha yeah, haven't already answered. Yeah. <clears throat> uh... So you do support users, and some of the some of the users of your fab lab are, for example, uh, need knower. Yeah. So, are there any challenges that you face? Well, Yuka-san mentioned some people just want to learn everything from you, and Yuka-san refuses to teach everything. Hmm. Uh, mm, uh, sa some same kind of things is uh, will occur in every fab lab, I suppose. Yeah, uh, of course. And uh, mm, so, ne. so da na. Yes. Uh, mm, to um there there's a there's some kind of people uh, who wants to um to be teach it from us not that that kind that kind of people doesn't want to learn by themselves just want to be teach it so uh, there's so many way to get the, the information for anything but that such kind of people doesn't want to uh, get the information by themselves and ju just hearing something to us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that that is very uh, important point, I think. Um, and that kind of people doesn't know uh, what 
what is the really need of themselves? So when when the when they know themselves and they they will become more clear what to learn or what kind of information is needed. Uh, yeah, that that kind of things is uh, some uh, always a challenge. Yeah, mm -hmm. for us. Thank you. So, um, in other words, some people are really passive and doesn't do the research by themselves. Yeah, yeah. I see. I see. Kind of similar. I see. Interesting. Um, also, um, another question uh, in the Q and A box. How are the Fab Labs sustaining themselves? I think this question applies to you both, both uh, Yuka-san and Hiroki-san. Um, anyone wants to go first? Yeah, maybe I can. Please. Yeah, because uh, maybe creating the new um, new way, uh, like a uh, new, Mm, so, um, creating a new like a way of the life or like giving the, the new vision um, get like なんだろうごめんなさいちょっと忘れちゃった。あの、日本語でも別に大丈夫ですよ。価値観って何て言うんでしたっけ? <笑> Ah, new value sets. Yeah, yeah. New values. If like giving like a new value um, in the future, like give that's the value of Fabra. So, like five years ago, maybe different value. Like five uh, years later, right now is maybe after COVID ninety, maybe the value is very different. And also right now is like ecosystem or more eco-friendly activity is more important than modern past times. And also more community um, circular um, system. So if you giving the uh, solution for new value, maybe uh, you can find a way of the uh, future. So we, I think, the, even if FabLab a manager need to be a getting uh, getting change, like we 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 can't use same method like five years ago. We need to change it. That's the our method. So, so in a way, you invent your lab, reinvent your yeah. lab uh, often. Mm -hmm. I see depending, uh, responding to the society's needs mm -hmm. and new trends. Yeah. And of course, um, we are creating like a um, new curriculum or keeping a new like a, a Fab Academy um, stuff. So that's like a, like a very orthodox way, like uh, keeping um, favorable or collaboration with the university. That's like a basic way, but still like uh, keeping like a new idea or get new information and giving like new value to the society. I see. And how about you now, Sam? Yeah, thank you for the question. Um, yeah. Uh, how can how can they about the uh, uh, to saying the sustaining by ourselves? It's very difficult to um, answer because uh, um, how do you imagine this sustaining? Um, always people are asking for the money or bu budget of the uh, of the lab and uh, the for the money money or the such kind of thing it's it's really hard to ask 
because our lab is also independent and uh, our my my our um Fab Lab Shinagawa is a uh, part of my company so uh part of my company so yeah really independent <laughs> space so um it is very difficult to to living by only the activities of Fab Lab but uh, there's really um as, as yuka san said there's really uh really new value new value um different kind of value i i i i, I believe yeah so now uh, of course we are getting the some kind of the uh Grants. Uh, mm. Government grants. Yeah, yeah government grants or the uh, institute in grants from the in, in, uh, institution and uh, building the, some kind of platforms. But uh, um, we are saying the uh, hub and the spoke system. And our activity, we want to split our activity to the um, many, many communities. So we're, we always saying the ma making the, not only making the place, but also making the people. So we're, we are sharing our um, ideas or visions or skills to other people. And the, the people is the, um, becomes a hub of his or her community. And then, the person is uh, sharing that idea to other people. This flat, flat uh, relation we are splitting through the society. That that kind of thing is very important. I I, I believe that kind of the situation is very important. Not only top down system, but also the doing sharing the the visions in the some kind of uh, how can I say uh, <laughs> uh, please imagine <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. okay okay thank you thank you uh, so I think there is some uh, a few more questions I I wonder uh, Kogure san or Yep. Or, There's one more. Should I should yeah. I close the session or no, may well, I? <laughs> actually, yeah. Now is the time to close. But if we okay. can continue, if everybody agrees, we can continue a little bit more. <laughs> I don't know. So, um, this question uh, in the Q and A section uh, from Rinchen Dorji. The participants are mostly students, I believe. So how do Fab Lab activities align with school curriculum? Or is it taken up parallelly with school activities? I think this is for Yuka-san, probably. Mm -hmm. Is the question on the Q&A? Yes. I can't see, OK. It's posted 8.57 PM. Really? In, yeah, on my screen. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so, do you have activity around the school curriculum? Um, right now, it's a part of that, not all of them, because it's uh, the we made a curriculum at the school. It's like we got a budget from the government, but it's very, very costly. So it's kind of hard to keep, but in Japan, especially private um, school starting a STEM program. So we are starting advice some school. So uh, they're uh, like a, uh, doing like a summer camp at first, then more um, longer curriculum, but it takes time. And also we are doing like a um, 3D contest 
it's like uh, collaborate with Keio University. So if get the uh, 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 children, uh, no, it's a challenger get the prize, they can get kind of like a, how can I say, um, they, can, they can get the first uh, exam pass to the Keio University. That they can have like an interview session. It's like a, um, like getting into the university program is getting changed. So that's why school want to do something new and more that more focus on like a STEAM, STEM program. So, but it takes a little bit time. So to put it another way, mm -hmm. um, when Fab Lab Kamakura mm -hmm. works with existing, some of the private schools, mm -hmm. um, those courses are part of the school curriculum. Yes. So they get regular credits mm -hmm. um, by taking those classes. Yeah, they have a course. Mm -hmm. And whereas when you collaborate with Keio University, Keio mm -hmm. Uni uh, and, and hold uh, some kind of uh, contest, mm -hmm. um, the winners have some advantage um, in getting into the KO University. So it's not the same as credit, mm -hmm. but um, it still kind of counts as an achievement. Because university doesn't want a student just like a good for the test, like a good score. They want to the student more creativity, have more creativity. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so uh, uh, sorry, <laughs> okay, can I add one information? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe next session, mm -hmm. next uh, meetup, uh, we invite uh, university teachers who are learning uh, Fab Lab inside of uh, university. So they have, they, they will also have ideas mm -hmm. and uh, activities. Yeah. Yes. I okay, think so. good. So, so yes, yeah, some of you, please, uh, please come back to the event next <laughs> yes, time please. we hold it. <laughs> yeah, they're great, great teachers. So. Okay, so maybe uh, we close the session by uh, with this answer. I I also want Takemura-san to address one question. Um, one of the participants asked if we introduce any bio lab or any fab lab with bio related activities. Maybe you know the answer. Uh, activities about the bio labs. Uh, there are a lot of activities related to bio labs. Uh, interesting uh, project is making biomaterials uh, using uh, fungi or kombucha strain. Yeah, and uh, some other bioactivities is uh, kind of the medical things, uh, making kind of medicine or mm, ch check the health. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so in mm. the future rounds of this series of events, mm. uh, are there any labs uh, uh this time no <laughs> okay. but that okay. yeah i i will put it the info put the information inside okay. of the but, uh your lab in mm. the the fab lab you manage mm. there are some bio related activities uh yes uh i'm making uh fungi materials right now. <laughs> this uh -huh. is a leishi, leishi fungi. <laughs> uh -huh. Now I, I will make the wallet from this fungi materials. Okay, so so wallet made of kind of mushrooms. Mushrooms, yes. <laughs> uh, interesting, okay. Um, so yeah, that I think that'll be the last question uh, from me. Thank you. And thank you uh, for all those people who uh, uh, provided questions that, that kept us very uh, active and lively uh, for the Q&A time.
Thank you very much. Thank you. I, I, sorry, I couldn't answer the old question, but it was nice time. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. Thank and you, everyone. I, yeah, I, you. I want to add just one last yeah, slide. Yeah, so the next time uh, we will have the uh, uh, third online meetup at the 4th of October. So please don't forget to join us. Uh, we will send you uh, all of you the invitation. And the topic is, uh, as uh, yeah, Takemura mentioned, uh, we will invite two fab labs that are set up in universities. So it, it will be similar to the CST fab lab. So uh, yeah, please join us. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time today. And well, yeah, see you again next month. Here. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening.